beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. So today I wanted to talk about horror movies, okay? So I have a spiritual gift called being a seer, okay? Some of you are seers, some of you aren't. Some of you can hear in the spirit where y'all can hear things that other people can't hear. Y'all can see things that other people can't see. Um, some people can, you know, I mean, there's so many different spiritual gifts that God gives people. One of my spiritual gifts, I believe, is I can hear in the spirit and I can see in the spirit um, and things like that. Um, I'm not the best at it, but I mean, God is, you know, he decides and chooses and picks when I can see certain things and hear certain things. So anyways, long story short. So whenever I'm in the spiritual realm, you guys, there is a spiritual realm, okay, where demons operate the most. Okay, it's almost like a, a city. It's almost like the same thing that we experience, but in the spiritual realm, okay? Um, in the spiritual realm, when I'm in the spiritual realm, um, or, you know, whatever, demons try to get me to watch horror movies or something scary, um, just something not of God. They try to get me to, right? So... With that being said, you guys have to understand that this is a spiritual battle. The world is purely spiritual. I want you guys to understand that sometimes witches and warlocks put curses in these scary movies. The reason why scary movies are created is to make you fearful of these demons. Where you could be scared of the exorcist. You could be scared of someone walking backwards on their hands. And, ooh, 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 right? We're not supposed to be scared, okay? God did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind, okay? You have to understand that you need to take your authority back in Christ. If you have a scary dream, rebuke that dream. When you wake up in the morning, say, I cancel, I... Well, first, let's, let's ask for repentance, okay? I repent for any agreement that I came into in my dreams, knowingly and unknowingly. I renounce and rebuke any of these bad demonic dreams off of my life in Jesus name and I send them to the abyss in Jesus name and any replacements thereof I send to the abyss in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and then once you do that you guys want to make sure that you are canceling and rebuking your dreams okay if they are not of God if you don't remember your dreams cancel and rebuke it say without whatever dream I had I'm not sure what it is but I would do cancel and rebuke it in Jesus name because it might not be of God right Anything that is not of God, I cancel and rebuke. Okay, second, they try to scare you guys with these horror movies, witches and warlocks in the in the industry. This industry, that industry, is mostly ran by Satan and ran by demonic forces. If you don't believe me, look at what these people wear. Look at how these people act. Look at how these people get mind control and change image and change looks. Look innocent and sweet one minute. Look demonic the next. Look like, what happened to her? Like, she's all a certain way, right? Even when it comes to the men. A lot of that industry is very spiritually demonic, okay? That area is purely demonic, okay? So understand that you are not supposed to be watching these movies. You are not supposed to be afraid. God did not give us a spirit of fear. These things make us watch, have us watch all these scary movies. They want you afraid. That's why they do that. Because if you've seen someone demon-possessed like that, which you probably are half demon possessed yourself and you have no idea that you're in bondage by the way every demon possession does not look the same now when someone has like where they're crawling backwards and stuff and all that extra that is like beyond demon possession that is like um it's legion right most people they maybe have like maybe just a few demons operating in them but when you're like moving backwards and demons are controlling your mind body spirit and soul that is a legion okay and let me let you guys know you are not to be afraid of the devil's devices we have authority in christ okay through the name
name of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus, through the resurrection of Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for your sins and not only your sins. He died on the cross for your curses, for your spells, for, for everything that is not of God. This world became so, so wicked and that's why God got disappointed in this world, okay? This is not the way that he designed the world to be. And a lot of you, I don't even care if you believe me or not, God is putting on my heart to let you guys know so that's what's going to happen. I'm going to let you know what God tells me because he's my friend. You clearly aren't, okay? I have a friendship in Christ. And so with that friendship with Christ, nothing's going to derail me from saying what I know is fact. And you guys got to understand, he said, my people will perish for lack of knowledge. A lot of you don't have the knowledge in spiritual warfare. You need to be praying morning and night at the least at the least you need to be because you have things attacking you that you don't even know that are attacking you and even if you feel like no nothing's attacking me all right well i'm gonna give you this lady and she is an exorcist right and if and if um and if, you're, if you're not in spiritual bondage and no demons will manifest but i promise you they will i promise you even if you are a christian there is a way for christians to have demon oppression if you don't believe me i will literally post i will literally post a um what do you call it um a deliverance video and see if anything manifests see if anything manifests a lot of us are living in demon oppression it ain't just me it's a lot of people and you want to bite you want to fight these battles